National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued an urban and small stream flood advisory for Eastern Carver County, Hennepin County, Ramsey County, Scott County, Western Dakota County, until 12.30 a.m. At 9.28 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms with heavy rainfall moving across the advisory area. Doppler radar estimated due to four inches of rain have fallen across northern portions of Carver and southern portions of Wright County this evening. Rainfall rates associated with the storms are ranging from one to two inches an hour. A runoff from this excessive rainfall will cause minor flooding to occur, especially along small streams and near low water crossings, road construction sites and highway underpasses. Some locations that will experience minor flooding include Burnsville, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Bloomington, Brooklyn Park, Egan, Eden Prairie, Excelsior, Lakeville, Maple Grove, Maplewood, Minnetonka, New Prague, Plymouth, Roseville, St. Louis Park, the Lake Minnetonka area and Twin Cities Airport. Excessive runoff from this storm will cause minor flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. At 10.40 p.m., Weather Service radar was tracking strong thunderstorms along a line extending from 9 miles north of New Prague to 3 miles east of New Prague to 10 miles northwest of Fairbow. These storms were moving northeast to 10 miles per hour. P-size hail and winds up to 50 miles per hour are expected with these storms. Locations in or near the path of these storms include Jordan, Vesali, Lonsdale, Marystown, Webster, Newmarket. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a flash flood warning for northwestern Carver County, southwestern Wright County, until 2.30 a.m. At 10.32 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated slow-moving thunderstorms with very heavy rainfall across the warned area. An estimated due to 5 inches is expected over the warned area. A runoff from this excessive rainfall will cause flash flooding to occur. Flash flooding is expected to occur over mainly rural areas of northwestern Carver and southwestern Wright counties, including the towns of Cocado, Howard Lake, Montrose, Smith Lake, Stockholm, Watertown, and Waverly. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. If flash flooding is observed, act quickly. Do not enter the water. Turn around and move up to higher ground to escape flood waters. Do not stay in areas subject to flooding when water begins rising. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For this afternoon and tonight thunderstorms are possible across central Minnesota and western Wisconsin this afternoon and tonight. A few storms can be severe, but most should not reach severe criteria. And now the extended outlook for the period Friday through Wednesday. The weather will be active over the next few days with multiple chances for thunderstorms. The threat for severe weather this weekend is also low. Spotter information statement. Sky warned spotter activation will likely not be needed. The current time is 10.47 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10 p.m. in the Twin Cities, thunder was reported. It was 75 degrees or 24 degrees Celsius. The dew point was 63. The relative humidity was 64 percent. The wind was west at 18 miles an hour, gusting to 25. The pressure was 29.83 inches and rising. Around the metro, temperatures were between 74 and 79 degrees. A plain rain was falling. It was cloudy at St. Paul, Eden Prairie, and Lakeville. At Lake Elmo, it was fair. Around the state, at St. Cloud, thunder was reported, with a temperature of 75. At Brainerd, it was clear, with a temperature of 69. At Duluth, it was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 74 at Rochester, and 72 at International Falls. Across the Dakotas, it was partly cloudy, and temperatures were between 75 and 77 degrees. In Iowa, it was cloudy. It was 82 at Des Moines, and 73 at Mason City. Around Wisconsin, temperatures were between 77 and 79 degrees. At Madison, it was partly cloudy. 
At Milwaukee, it was mostly cloudy. At Eau Claire, it was cloudy. Once again at 10 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 75 degrees with thunder. The National Weather Service.